How is it? It's Joe Value here for Cold Bear Sports on Saturday evening with two selections for tomorrow. Absolute signal today. Post no bills to hurt my horse to put up on the service bet. Getting chinned laid on. Especially after Minzal winning. I had Minzal uh, and Paddy's two winners that he put up on the YouTube. Just as a fun bet, you know, getting the cue on the Yankee and, and obviously uh, post no bills letting us down for the whole lot. <laughs> I still can't believe you got chinned. Uh, I thought all the way around I was just ha happy out, you know. And uh, I think that kind of the, at the fourth last, he, tr he jumped it too well nearly. Just knuckled on the landing a bit and lost a bit of momentum. But uh, still in all, he uh, plenty of chance to uh, hold off the winner of Glanadors. Who, he held it, held it off easily the last time they met. They only met there around uh, three weeks ago or so. And uh, post no bills beat it comfortably. But... Uh, yeah, it's always one as they say, isn't it? It would have been a sweet touch now. Uh, but no matter, that's the way it goes. Uh, obviously, like the Minzal one, I stuck that up on the uh, on our preview, uh, which was, we done quite well. Uh, Castle Gandolfo was got a good mention. He, you know, probably needs to uh, alternative for some people. And, uh, yeah, the big race was probably a bit unlucky as well with Mahler's promise coming down early for me. Probably surely would have been placed, you'd imagine, uh, the way the race worked out. But you look, it's the ups and downs of horse racing, you know. That's why when you get the real good days, uh, you have to enjoy them. But well, hopefully, tomorrow might be a good day. Uh, I fancy one in Stratford and one one in Newton Abish. I start off with one in Stratford, it's the 130 Ash Stratford, obviously. Yeah, Ilya Store, two to one favourite here. Now, Mick Pastor is top weight here off 12 stone, he's definitely the class horse in the race, but he's Gonna have to try and concede two stones to this idiot's door, and I don't think he'd be able to do it. Large Hill is in it, Caddy Hill, Atlantic uh, Storm is in it as well. Them three, you know how we're fixed. You know, they just are what they are. Idiot's door, I thought, was fierce impressive. Two starts ago at Ludlow, and just got touched off by a fair horse called Pin Pen Creek uh, last time at Worcester. So uh, I think uh, every chance that Idiot's door can make. Uh, take advantage of the lots of weight that he gets off Mick Pastor, and uh, two to one. I'm going to stick him up there as a point win, and also in the two fifteen at Newt Navish, a horse by the name of Balcardi, who beat Pen Creek last time over two and a half mile, beaten pretty comfortably. You know, and he definitely this horse is in the form of his life after winning this last three, and stepping up in this now might just unlock a bit more uh, improvement as well. Uh, it is you know. A tricky enough race. There's a couple of horses more, you know, uh, in decent form as well. Scatman is in it, who won him quite well last time, but didn't beat a whole lot, I didn't think. And uh, there's another Nicholas horse in it called Hell Red, who I'd say ha must have stamina doubts. It's only two to one. I, I, I'd make Balcardi a uh, second favourite here. I know Balcardi has to prove his stamina as well, but, uh, you know, that form line last time with Penn Creek, I, I do like Pen Creek as a horse. He was third there one day to do start, do do start in a in a in a really good maiden hurdle at Newbury. Uh, star uh, the good horse of um, Soren Eagle, good horse of John John Eagles was second in it. You know, and even the fourth and fifth horses turned out to be uh, really nice types. But uh, Pen Creek's really getting his act together now, and I, I do feel that Balcardi beating him yesterday was a. You know, a really good line of form. And he's 5-1 to one tomorrow, so I'm going to stick him up as a point win as well. So, uh, yeah, 130 Stratford, Elias Dorr, 2-1. to one, And Balcardi in the 2.15 at Newton Abbott, 5-1. to one. So hopefully the two of them win. And uh, we'll go a point win each, a point win double. So best of luck if you're following. Thanks very much for following. Spread the old word and, you know, hit the notification button and the su su subscribe button as well. So you don't miss uh, out on anything. Hopefully, uh, you know, we get a bit better look overall as we had this week. It has been a very disappointing week. There's no getting away from that. And uh, hopefully this one can, you know, these two can do the business tomorrow and tidy up the, would tidy up the week uh, really nicely, you know. So that's it. Joe Valley for Cold Bear Sports. I'll talk to you again very soon.